So I've spent a month with the Asus ZenBook Flip 15 OLED, a fantastic laptop I'm using as my daily driver right now. I'm previewing 6K B-RAW footage on this thing while I'm on shooting the new podcast that'll be coming out soon. This thing is just the ultimate like on-the-go workhorse. Now, I wouldn't recommend this for 6K B-RAW video editing, but we'll get into that later in the video because I'm really digging this laptop. This is the one that comes with the latest Intel Arc A370M GPU, four gigs of VRAM, but there are some things that I don't like about it too much. So we're gonna talk about some things that I don't like, some things that I do like, and then I hope to help you make the right purchasing decision of this laptop or maybe not this laptop. Jumping right into things, the most annoying thing I have found about this laptop is the power button placed right here on the right side of the laptop. This perfectly is placed to where I literally shut it off almost every time I grab the laptop. Now, because I've done it so many times, I've now figured out how to grab the laptop so I don't do it. But normally, if you go to grab a laptop, you you know grab it here and maybe like pull it towards you. Well, that is right where the button is placed for the power button. I wish it was up here or on the keyboard deck or just anywhere else, but right where I grab, grab the laptop to pull it towards me. So say for instance, like it's over here and I need to like use it. Like even right now, I'm like, ah, I don't wanna shut it off. So it's just, driving me bonkers. I'm not gonna digress and continue to talk about it, but it is very annoying. The next thing would be the 16 by nine aspect ratio screen. Though I do love the screen, and as you can see the results coming up right now, it does have great color gamut range, color accuracy, and brightness. I really wish it was a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. I'm becoming a over and abundant fanboy of 16 by 10 aspect ratio. I'm sure in the new year, as in in this new year, 2023, the ZenBook will most likely come in a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. I just wish they would have done it in this model with the new Arc GPU. So punch for punch, it's good because it is a 15 inch screen and it's enough screen real estate, but having a taller aspect ratio always gives you a little bit more room for your workflow and I really appreciate that extra screen. Now one area that Asus continues to try to be thoughtful for us, but they really aren't, is the micro SD card reader. Look at that, the, the laptop just shut off because it hit the power button. The micro SD card reader to me is just a pointless slot. I either am using a full size SD card or I'm using a big Samsung T5 drives. So for me, the micro SD card reader is really just not useful. Now I know a lot of you use GoPros, a lot of you use you know, maybe like DJI drones or something like that. And so it makes sense for you. But for me personally, I don't find the micro SD card reader useful. Now one setting that I wish the laptop came with, but it did not in the My Asus command center would be iGPU mode. I would be extremely curious what kind of battery life we could get if we just switched over to the i7-12700H processor. I think it might actually be worse battery life, but I would just like to be able to know. I wanna be able to check if I just use the i7-12700H without the Arc A370M GPU, do I get better battery life or worse battery life? The battery life on this laptop was phenomenal. The best i7-12700H battery life I've ever seen on my channel. And that's all while running with the GPU and CPU both activated, both on whisper mode. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, I've tested the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro with the i7-12700H on iGPU mode and it got about seven hours of battery life. That means by adding the Arc A370M GPU, you're actually getting improved battery life. So the system is speaking so well that it's sharing processes to make sure that the system is optimized, not only for performance, but also really great power management. And that is what I'm really excited about with the new Arc systems. We're not getting like the best graphics performance that any graphics processor can accomplish. That's not the entire goal of Intel Arc. The entire goal of Intel Arc is to have great performance, yes, but it's also to bring in and complement that performance with power efficiency. If you know much about me, I've been complaining about the power efficiency of the i7-12700H for about two years now. I want better power efficiency. Well, I think these Arc GPUs were the answer. Now, during my full review, I did not show off the Asus Pen. This is the 2.0 model. It does have good touch sensitivity. I'm using Photoshop right now. You can see as I do a light touch on the screen, it has a nice light line. And then as I push heavier, you can get a heavier line. It is responsive. I used it in Illustrator with like the pen tool and like the, I think it's like the marker tool or something. And I didn't love the performance inside of Illustrator. But inside of Photoshop, it seems really nice. I've never been the best at drawing perfect circles, but if you are, I'm sure it would be helpful. And of course you can always go into tablet mode and you can work on your projects in tablet mode. And so the pen does work very well. It's not laggy at all. It's very responsive. So 
yeah, overall, the pen works good for those of you who were asking. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Asus ZenBook Flip 15, I'll put links in the description below. You can check the live pricing. And if you're interested in making a purchase, I will get a small commission if you use that link, but no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. The performance of this laptop for being a four gig VRAM card with this type of battery life is rock solid. You're not blowing out of the water other laptops with maybe higher performing GPUs, like say six gig and eight gig VRAM cards. But for the price, for the battery life, and for the performance, it's a great blend. Inside of Photoshop, this laptop scored a 968, and there's no other laptop that scored a 968 that got this good of battery life. Now, in order to be fair, on whisper mode, the laptop scored a 939. So in order to get the battery life that you saw earlier, Inside of Photoshop, you're gonna have about a 939 instead of that 968, but that is stellar performance. It's just incredible to see how well this laptop performs. In regards to video editing, whether you're on battery power or you have the system plugged in, you're gonna get great export times. You can see the export time results coming up on the screen right now. And I don't know if I have battery mode up on that chart. So just keep in mind that while running battery power with the laptop unplugged from the charger, you're gonna get about four minutes and 13 seconds on the nine minute 4K export. Compared to the three minute and 29 second export time with the power supply plugged in. So great export time really either way, whether you're on the go or at your home office. Now 4K playback has zero drop frames. So you don't have to worry about, you know, lacking smooth 4K playback, and that's even at full quality 4K playback. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you're able to play back some B-RAW footage, you know, especially you have like the B-RAW plugin on your laptop. However, I don't recommend this laptop as a 6K B-RAW video editing laptop. The export time was just long. For a nine minute clip, it took about 36 to 40 minutes to export that nine minute clip. And it's just, it just, it, it just isn't efficient. And to me, it's just under power. There's other laptops at a similar price point, something like the Asus Zephyrus G14, that would knock out that export in, in half the time, more than half the time. So if you're looking for a laptop with a really color accurate screen, runs cool and quiet, has great performance both on the charger and off the charger, and has the two-in-one pen capability, the Asus ZenBook Pro 15 Flip OLED is fantastic. Now, one thing that I will state is that unfortunately you cannot upgrade the RAM on this laptop. You do have access to one SSD drive that you can swap out, but there's not a second unoccupied drive in the laptop. So if you're thinking about, you know, I wanna upgrade the laptop that I buy later, this would not be the laptop that you should get. But punch for punch, this laptop has all the performance that I've been needing with my on-the-go workflow, using business docs, editing thumbnails, even previewing some 6K B-RAW, and even doing Doing some 4K video editing on the go. It has all you need in regards to those workflows. Now, keep in mind that this is not a 3D modeling laptop. It underperformed in 3D modeling, and that's because just four gigs of VRAM is just not enough, in my opinion, for 3D modeling. You want to get six gigs, eight gigs, 10, 12, 16, those are the type of GPUs you wanna be looking for for 3D modeling. As always, links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Likes this video has brought you some value and subs to help us reach 100,000 subscribers. We're getting so close. I'll see you in the next video.